gives Makaris plus 10 intelligence stat. True story. This is true, dude. Right. Hopefully, it doesn't fake, dude. Okay, nice. Yeah, you just fake challenge him here. Kind of in a bad position. As long as you, you know, you fake challenge and you drive towards the goal line with this potential threat, you're gonna be, you're gonna be fine for a while. People aren't good enough at this rank. They are good enough. They're just not calm and confident enough. Right. Just take the boost here. Be here. Try to get a soft touch. Right. I'm gonna fake a hit to the right. Take a part or take a 50. Like even if I wasn't like able to outplay there, just getting that, like making it look like uh, I go for the direction change fucks him up there. I can fake jump here. He hits it, which is good, right? This is what you want. Now I want to turn and just hit it to safety because I don't know if he's here or not. Right. I'll just flip it here. Because right. I'm not really allowed to like do stuff. You know, if you can, you could like, you could single jump after this bounce, single jump there and then like have a delayed flip or like threaten a delayed flip at least because you could also, also come down. You could also single jump into a bump, you could dribble into, you know, dropping it into a low 50. A lot of options where you threaten something and you could still execute the something you threaten while still, you know, also being able to fake it. There are always going to be good options, right? Well, hopefully like having a minimized risk, right? So there I just flip, which is a decent move. It gets a decent pop. Whereas I can always, you know, go back. We fake a hit up here. Let's say someone was there. We fake it to the right. Take a 50. I got to place the semen. So now we can add aggression. It's an open net. If he misses, I'm there. It's not miss. Free goal, right? So as soon as he outplays his teammate, you could you could full on flip for that because I'm a first man, he's a last man, right? There's a big reward in challenging there. You don't just want to fake challenge because then you you give them time to come back. You actually do want to put pressure there. Right. Just put this into your corner and you're fine. Fight. Maybe even fake going to the corner, go behind him. See how like see how there's like small interactions that you know you could also add into your game. It, it, Playing to your corner is the safe play, though. I don't want to. I would not recommend this if you're not sure, if you're not confident. But I'm just showcasing that this this is an option, right? They reach 1500 because I'm gonna clap you. Oh, you know, 1450. I can kill you, little bitch. Right, just single jump here. If he goes, we block. Right, we'll be middle here. So this is slow, like too slow. So now this guy's gonna be back. At the, they're gonna have double layer of defense, and uh, you know. I mean, like, yes, you get two touches in the air, but, like, there's no point, right? So you fake a hit here, maybe hit it up at the end, you didn't challenge, which is fine. There's own goaling, fake jump here. So he double jumps, try to get the mid boost on spawn, which I do. So now I can be middle, right? You don't have to be all the way back, you could boom. Be here, don't hit it into him, hit it to the side, he could still challenge, he misses, though. But, you know, that was hard to read, my bad. Cuck Lord. See what he does, he could boom, so I have to watch out, try to make him play. Welcome to my corner, my dude. Now I have to just dodge a bump. Single jump here to ensure safety. Uh, Timmy should have not been there in the corner. Alright, free ball. Just be here, he's gonna go for mid boost, fake hit up. He's gonna go, which and then we just take the back boost. If my teammate didn't hit, it would have been fine. Try to jump to dodge the demo. Um, in the end, they don't, they don't even have a last one. I don't know what the f happened, dude. But we did. We did get, kind of get pressured there. That was because my teammate hit the ball and the ball like went up and they act, like it turned out to be a pass. Whereas if he just left it, I would have had it. So, but you know, again, you can't really do anything about what your teammate does. Please do be like, do like to be working that corner. Your corner is your safe space, dude. Rank is this currently Grand Champ one or two or something? What if the pass admit from the corner? Well, you grab the boost that's in the corner and then you cover the threat. So you 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 need to be there to either challenge in front of your front post or to cover a mid pass. Right, single jump here to fake, get a touch to the right, and then part slight cut. Don't hit it, but it's fine, I can stay here because my teammate isn't here. Single jump touch to the side, fake it up, maybe flip it up, take the other boost here. So that, that way we maintain pressure, right? It can be here, he might hit. Be here, try to hit it after the bounce, a single jump, flip it to the right. If I had hit it more towards the right there, I would have outplayed him. Now he's going goalie. Be middle, he could shoot, so you cover the shot, he misses out of free ball. Get a touch at rules. I have to play fast because there is a guy behind me that I can outplay by playing fast. So try to get a power select cut into a flip. Three challenges. Luckily we lose the challenge, but you know, kinda cucked my uh my fake challenging and shit. So I have a free ball here, I fake it to the right. Huh? Fake it towards the left, he's gone. Fake it towards the left, he takes a 50, single jump here, try to block. Take boost, take me boost, so my team doesn't need it. Doesn't need it, so we take boost. Watch the shot. There's a shot. 
I'm gonna let him shoot actually, don't wanna get bumped. So if you do the exact same play but then you get bumped, then you just need to know that that was your mistake, you need to focus on not getting bumped in the next time once you get in a similar situation. I'm gonna be here, just fake jump, get a touch behind him, wait for him to challenge, single jump now because he's gonna challenge, that guy also went for equal. So again, I'm getting touches based off of them, I'm not getting touches because I can, right? Get a touch behind him, he turns into it, right? Wait, 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 he's going up the wall so he could challenge, get a single jump, right? You can do that, it's just you probably play into them as opposed to playing based off of them. Alright, so he flipped the net, don't wanna get bumped, if he leaves then I have to go, if he doesn't leave then I have to cover, single jump to cover shit, free ball. Touch, parse light cut, single jump, ball for my teammate if he's behind me, he was kind of on the side instead of being middle, they f*** up though, I take this boost because my teammate isn't here, he's hitting so I could take, parse light cut, that might be a free goal here, and just showcase another parse light cut here, so just to like show like how good it is, because they're always going to cover their net, right, the parse light cut is not going towards their net, if they jump, which they will, they ha don't have a chance at saving. I always get this question, does a power slide cut work against Grand Jam, against uh, Supersonic Legend? It doesn't matter, even if I power slide cut Fairy Peak at the right time, Fairy Peak is not gonna happen. The, the, the skill of a player is not gonna help him if the, if the play is executed, right? So we could shoot here, which is better because now we give them a little bit of time, but we can do this into a power slide cut, into a flick. Just showcasing again a follow-up after a power slide cut, right? I can't see the opponent, I don't know if he's challenging or not, but I just think I get a touch, he could challenge right about now, so I just try it, right? And then I get a flip, right? Works, GG's. When you shift from ball cam and back, normally you're gonna go off of ball cam once you're dribbling. Or once you're going for boost or something. Because, like, if you dribble with ball cam on, like, look at, look at the camera. Do you want this to happen to you? Do you want this to happen to you? So that's why you have ball cam off, because now we just always have this forward, like, normal camera, right? Making GCs look so bad. They, they're, like, they have good mechanics. They can jump up and beat you in, in situations. You just need to make it look like you go, so they go, and then you can collect the free ball off of that. And you try to calm down. Don't play into two players. Don't start a dribble and then flick past one guy and then give it to the other guy. No, just f***ing wait. Want, you just wait, 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 is there a guy challenging? I fake it towards the right. If it doesn't work, you just low 50 or something. Like, get a touch to the left. Like, play based off of them. Force them to commit. To, you're gonna help yourself. It feels, it feels like your brain is moving very fast. From personal experience, it isn't always a good thing. What does that mean? What are you talking about? King Hayes 96 I love your name, bro. Thanks for the Twitch Prime, man. Much appreciated. So, for example, there. My teammate gets a beat. In the end, he passes the ball to them. They get full boost. They get ball, right? Look at your replays and look at how many times you challenge for no reason. Look at how many times you, you give away ball possession. Look at how many times you don't take boost and you give your opponents boost. Look at how many times you know, look for that shit because you're not good. All right, we do have to go up here in a second. Just go up, get a save, be behind my teammate, opposite side of the play. So you can always drive forward to whatever the f comes next, right? Good touch from a teammate as long as he doesn't jump up and hit it away. But oh, poggers, I learned how to pinch in free play. Now I can pinch it away. Fake challenge here. It's it. Get a touch over him. And I could still take, right, boost grab is important here, so I try to get a single jump to, to advance, fake a touch towards the left, fake a touch towards the right, and go left. And you can just push through a 50, like, it isn't bad for you, you can push through afterwards, get boost, he has committed, so... Well, uh, he's in a bad position, he's used boost, he doesn't have a lot, right? This ball is free, you get a touch into corner, good demo, that might be a goal, right? So if this is a goal now, then that's my fault, and you need to learn from your mistakes. So what, what happens here? Get a touch into safety, but then the next rule is avoid a demo, right? Which means I don't get it. I don't avoid the demo. That's my bad, dude. So you just need to learn from your mistakes, right? There's no point in getting mad or anything, or like being like, oh my god, why would he go for a demo? There, he's so stupid. No, he's not stupid. Full on commit from a team and make sure I don't get demoed here. Okay, he's gonna turn and go. I just have to respect it, cause see how like I still get a free ball in the end. I'm trying to block here. Can maybe pass this middle. He's there. We leave. Fake challenge him. I can't go for boost yet because he might go for the shit. So you don't want to just go for boost instantly because we have to cover the threat. When teammate is backwards, you always want to be able to, you know, drive forward to whatever comes next. So he wants to be opposite side and turn left. Don't turn to the same side. Now you have to turn back, right? It's a mistake. This is a grand team. That should be a bronze. That should be taught in bronze. Dude. You need to have your own independent last man position. You don't want to be same side eating poop. And just wait, flip at the end, free goal. Right, this is a very good move. Just learn it. Oh my god, the flicks! I can't do it. Then practice it. It's not that hard. You can air dribble in grand champ. You can't do this. Wait, when ball is above you, flip. Go to free play. Put ten minutes into that. It's not that hard. It might not be as fun. If you want to get better, is I don't know. For me, like for example, I get I get fun out of the game by getting better, right? 
So it's not like, I don't know. Just doing shit like that and ranking up is like rewarding to me. It might be to some other people as well. Shut up. Fake challenge into covering the shit. Right? Fake challenge into covering the shit. He flips. Poggers, he could flip still. Poggers, he grabbed the boost and now he's useless. He has to leave. Be behind my teammate. I'm my last man. If this somehow goes on target, I'm here. See, I can drive forward. Play into the right. Wait for him to challenge. You can challenge right about now. He parts like cut. Into a shot. It's not really a good shot, but it does add pressure, right? You turn around. Be here. He fake challenge. So hopefully he flips. He does a double jump. He's still there, so he still can't go. He flips. So now we have a free ball possession as long as he doesn't hit it back to them. But he does, so, you know, end of the play right there. Um, Maybe singles and fake jump, but we do have to cover his hit, all right? So see again, you don't want to be that guy who wants to score. If you want, if you're the guy who wants to score, you're gonna lose. All right, we wait, wait, wait. You try to hit it to the right. Try to maybe advance the play. He's already back, so you can let him take his boost here, fake a hit up, and then go left. Hit to the right. Be here, fake a hit. Try to flip over. Good save from that one guy. And try to stay up here. My teammate miss. Mid boost is priority. High boost is my teammates. I just cover a shot and jump up now. If my teammate doesn't have, I'm there. Make sure I don't push up too far to the same side. I can always drive forward to whatever comes next. Maybe it should be grabbed. I could touch to the left. Wait, 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 wait. He's got a challenge right about now. He didn't challenge. I can always still flip. Pre-jumped. I can maybe try to bump. Good shit. Thank you for being a cuck. Alright. Hopefully he gets a touch. That's good. Now, if I can speed up the play, then there might be a guy behind me. Play it. See how we almost get a free goal there? There's sometimes reward in, in speeding up. I'll try to leave backwards for my teammate. He's not gonna get it. Opponent was beating him, so that's why I grab it. I don't have to do much. I don't know what the f that was. Then force him to jump. So like, if, if meanwhile something was happening on the ball there, that would have worked. So this is again fake challenges here. See what he's gonna do. He might bump me. Just be aware of it. Now in the end, my teammate is the one who can bump me. You know, flicks. What do I do with my teammate? Yeah, there's nothing you can do. It's stupid. Alright, we fake challenge, maybe drive challenge. So now he's a last man, so that's why I jump and commit, right? My teammate could commit, that's the goal. Teammate has to hit, doesn't hit, so I'm here. That might be mechanical. You could maybe still save it, please save it. I'm sorry. You know, the fake jump makes him not go. Once I see him turn, he's already up too far, that's why I flip, right? I'm pretty sure you could score. This is actually Grand Champ 1, Grand Champ 2 ish, so I'm pretty sure you could single jump. It, it's just. It's not, you're not playing bad, you're just not thinking about anything, but it's, it's all good. Fake jump here, fake jump again. He doesn't commit, but in the end, does it matter? No. Right, there's guys behind me, you can just play back. He actually beats me to the boost. If he grabs the back boost, that's fine. And just control all the way to the other side. If you can ball chase to safety, then I can ball chase to safety. I wouldn't really suggest, like, actually full on ball chasing there, but like, my teammate was not in the best situation. Fake challenge into making him hit the ball to my teammate. See, it's not about challenging and committing and scoring, right? If he hits it over you because you pressure him in a bad situation, there might be a guy. If not, then you go from there. If he is there, free goal. Grand champs down bad, they do be. How do you fake jump so close to the ground? My jump throws me in the air. You just tap it softly, you boost a little bit down. Team needs to be there. Try to take this boost. Now I don't need to not push up too far, right? I mean, just come from a position where I could drive forward. Right? I still can't drive forward, but in, in, uh, I would cover a lot of situations there. Whereas, you know, driving back isn't the worst thing that can happen, but you just want to be there for it if you need to be there, right? Bar slide cut. Bar slide cut with a single jump just to, you know, make sure you poop on him. That was a free goal. I just wanted to showcase bar slide cutting. Now we can go for swag shit. Nice. GCs aren't bad playing against this man is triggering. He's so patient. You have no idea what to do. In the end, GCs are bad. But I get what you're saying. Compared to the average person, they're not bad. But this series will be uploaded to YouTube within 25,000 hours. This is true. I did my best. I did my best. See you guys in a couple thousand years. Rank is the average person. Uh, Dog ball eight. Maybe turn with it. I don't know why he's up like that's not scorable. It doesn't matter if you're grand champ or not. So as soon as he hits it to corner, be happy because it's the end of his play, right? He has to leave now. Let's make sure we're looking. Do we have time? We do. So we fake it towards the left. Just, or just drive it. Just take a 50. Look at it there last man. He was already upfield. If we won the 50 into a controllable spot, free goal right there because GC thought it was good. Fake challenge. He hits it. Try to get a touch to safety. Beat him to the boost. Cover the shot. He shoots. Try to cover this shit. Get a save. Try to maybe bump. 
gets a touch, we can t steal his boost, still bump, though he's hitted away from himself, though, which is sad. Really good boost drop from the other guy, hopefully my teammate leaves, he doesn't leave, so I leave. Could have actually been met there, instead of going for, for uh, the boost. Again, no interest in hitting the ball, the ball's already gone to safety, be on the wall where the ball's gonna be. Get a touch, come down, single jump, you don't have to do shit, though. Just need to cover his shot if he goes for it. <clears throat> you know, preferably you would outplay it if possible, right? See there, I'm also just single jumping to block a shot. If he's not there, then you know I might miss. It's all good because the objective isn't to score or anything. You don't have boost, so just let him hit it. Because again, it, it doesn't really do much for them as long as I don't commit. We're fine. Hopefully he booms because he he just played free play. Good job, dude. This is GC, dude. Right, Parse like cut to the right and shoot. Take a free goal. This is the epitome. GC summarized. Give away possession into landing all the way over there into last man commit. It's just like are you ready? For this shit and you can be if you're trained and aware of the fact or of things that you have to be aware of all right, So we just fake challenge here. Hopefully he flips he flips away, right? So he was there So I don't want to hit it into him take the boost and free ball. Don't hit this forward. You're not cool But my mom says I'm cool all Right, maybe fake jump all Right. Now maybe flip to the side because he's the last man, right? I just tried, it didn't work. It, it, I tried, he still f***ing outplayed himself in the end. That guy still shouldn't have a lot of boost because he just committed, right? Hopefully from that guy touched to the side, but now again he's just hitting the ball away from himself, so be thankful. Alright, welcome to the corner, what are you gonna do now? Poggers, you gotta flip. Alright. <laughs> be here, fake challenge, he already went up. We'll fake it to the right, go left. Uh, it's both of them committing. It's not really scoreable though, but look at look at the like efficiency we get. I get one boost grab, so one of them is low. They're kind of pressured. All right, so balls to safety. Take the boost. Same shit. Fake challenge. Cover is hit. Nice. If my teammate doesn't have, I have. But I actually should have gone up. My bad. So learn from your mistakes. You know, you make them play. And don't cover the shit. You don't want to rely on your teammate to have this because again, solo queue XZ. So I should have just gone up. Touch to safety. He actually committed, which is good for us as long as we're ready for that, right? Glad I'm GC too. Poggers one to six. Hopefully he shoots. He doesn't shoot, but he gets a touch that we can drive challenge, but not in a way where we hit it back into him without you know covering it. So that's bad. Um, so the options here are you, you can drive challenge, but you have to force it to your corner. If you want to get a touch into him that you can't cover, you have to single jump though, because you have to cover your goal side. So again, either force it into your corner or single jump to cover your net. All right. Learn from your mistakes. No reason to get mad. It's a mistake. You can you can you can fix it. He hits it forward, which is good for us. He misses a 1v1 here. So play into left. Please don't boom. Please don't boom. Wait, wait. He's going to challenge. Hit right. Hit left. You can do this. Practice it. 10 minutes. You got this, bro. If you're at this rank, you can definitely do this mechanic. Alright. There, just calm down there. I try to take time. I'll fake a hit, here he's going, just go back, right? If you have the mechanics to get a touch that you, you can outplay him with and follow it up, then go for it. That guy is going for a, an un unscorable shot. That's a good back pass though, if my teammate misses, it would be nice. Uh, so I'm ready for that in that position. I can always drive forward to whatever the f*** happens next, try to get a touchdown, because they're both there. It's just a drive challenge, if, if I don't hit the bar, if I miss, or if they f***ing 50, I can always drive back. Drive challenges are great. They were both there, potential reward in, in driving into the ball, I don't fully commit, blah blah blah. God to your coaching, I appreciate you dude. Maybe get a touch to the side to just further make sure that my teammate is not in 1v1, right? Cover his hit, be on the backboard, he's gonna play into me. Just be in the position where he's gonna end up, be here, fake a hit up, be here, take a 50. And just f***ing fight, fake a hit, fake a hit, 50, take a boost, f*** off. Alright, uh, teammates turn, I'm behind him, right? They're using boost, they're in my corner. <clears throat> it doesn't do anything for them though. Alright, play into the right. Wait for one to challenge, you can challenge right about now, hit it into the left, and that's both of them. That's both of them. Solid work, that's how you do it. And now they're mad at each other, now they left, but did, did they not realize that? You get it? You get it? Put some time and help yourself. Well, Flakes, you, the, the cut you're getting is too strong. Bro. Get me out of here.